Hill. This week we're coming at you with our list for the top 10 CrossFit items that you need to have an awesome workout. And we're just gonna dive right into this. And so these are not gonna be in any particular order. Um, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, let's have a good time. Let's start with our first item, tape. Lots of different tape, lots of different uses. My favorite brand is Tom Brady Tape, AKA Goat Tape. There's nothing like taping your thumbs before some burpees, maybe a running workout, maybe some double unders, but in all seriousness, maybe some weightlifting. I also like to have a little bit of white tape because real ones know that tape plus grips in any pull-up or toe-to-bar workout, you'll be on there for at least a week. That's item one. Coming at you at item number two is a pair of grips. My personal favorite are these Victory Three Finger Grips. Uh, like I said before, add a little bit of tape on the bar, add the perfect amount of chalk, chef's kiss, ratatouille. This is the killer combo. Now, like anything else, we don't want to overdo it with grips. I only wear these for lots of pull-ups, lots of toe-to-bar. If you're doing strict work, you don't need them. But if you don't have them, get yourself a pair. Third on the list is your very own jump rope. This is probably one of the best purchases for a newer CrossFit athlete. Also, uh, when you get to go on vacations again, having a jump rope is probably one of the greatest things. Quick note, if you're jumping rope on the concrete, you're gonna shorten that life of the jump rope. So my advice, always jump on rubber. Coming in at number four, your very own training shoe. Uh, there's a reason why CrossFit shoes exist. Nice flat bottom, cool flashy colors, lets everybody know that you do CrossFit. In all seriousness, this is my uh, new favorite pair. It's the Nano X Unknown. Uh, whatever you like, go get it. Make sure that you have a training shoe, something flat bottom. Now, that's number four, and five and six are also shoes. Coming in at number five is get yourself a pair of running shoes. Your feet will absolutely kill if you go run a 5K in your Nano X Unknown. So that's right, you're gonna need two pairs of shoes. Your general workout pair, your running specific. That's number five. Now, number six, it's also a shoe. This is a pair of lifters. You may not need these in the beginning of your CrossFit career, but eventually you may learn that it really helps with your ankle mobility, right? Helps you keep a more upright torso. Also, when you watch videos of weightlifters, they're wearing weightlifting shoes and they help a lot. In fact, uh, just the other day, yesterday, uh, Lasha snatched 223 kilograms, about 491 pounds, wearing a trusty pair of lifters. I think they might've even been Nike, so that's cool. Coming in at number seven, and this is mostly for the fellas, um, is a really good pair of spandex. If you are wearing normal boxer briefs or God forbid, a pair of boxers, it's not gonna cut it. You already know um, it's not working for you. So get yourself a good pair of spandex. My favorite two brands are Lululemon and Noble. Um, the Lululemon spandex, I haven't been able to find the ones that I really like for, I don't know, three or four years, but Noble makes a really great pair. That's at number seven. At number eight is what I'm wearing right now, which is get yourself some cool CrossFit t-shirts. It's really fun when we used to be able to drop in at boxes and collect different CrossFit t-shirts, but me personally, uh, this is the extent of my style, is I like to wear other gyms t-shirts. Normally they're really soft. If you're buying the tilt ones, they're pretty excellent. So that comes in at number eight. At number nine is really a pandemic special and we've learned a lot recently, 
but these little handy dandy rubber inserts that you put over your mouth like a little muzzle and then put your mask over helps you from not inhaling your mask. They're also like, I don't know, maybe 50 cents a piece on Amazon, you get a pack of 12. Um, this is a must have for working out with a mask. Now, hopefully in the next couple months, we'll be outside, maybe we don't have to wear them, but for the time being, you definitely need this. Um, and our last item, number 10, is a gym bag. Now, me personally, I like a backpack, other people like a duffel, but I like to be able to transport all my things to and from the gym. Um, the reason I like the backpack is, makes me feel like a kid again, Peter Pan. Um, but get whatever you like. My favorite brand is this company called Track. They're out of Scotland, really cool canvas bags. Um, that's your top 10 CrossFit items. Really quick uh, rant by me, couple things that you didn't see on this list. Knee sleeves or belts. Um, I used to rely heavily on both of these items. Uh, I think knee sleeves are great if you're dealing with a knee issue or if you just like your knees to feel cozy and warm. Other than that, they, they might be kind of a security blanket, but that's totally fine as long as we've given up sucking our thumb. Um, the last thing is the lifting belt. I think lifting belts are awesome when once in a blue moon you're going for a new PR. But the really cool thing is if you don't wear a lifting belt, you're pretty much wearing an imaginary lifting belt because your core is incredibly strong. So not in my top 10, knee sleeves and a belt. Don't think you need them, but please uh, comment. Let me know what your favorite top 10 items are. That's it for now.